The movie Matrix gave us one of the most iconic visual effect shots of all time. The bullet time effect. Dozens of cameras, a Hollywood budget and an entire visual effects team just to make Keanu Reeves float in air while the bullets crossed above his body. But what if I told you that today, instead of millions of dollars spent and an entire visual effects crew, I'm going to try to recreate this effect using Gaussian splatting, a bit of AI, some visual effects tricks, all this with my own kit with zero dollars in budget. It will look as good as Matrix effect, probably not, but it's a good idea to push Gaussian splatting technique to recreate a bullet time effect. In the Matrix, bullet time effect was made by lining up dozens of synchronized cameras. I don't have that. Instead, I'm going to cheat by combining footage of myself jumping with a 3D Gaussian splat of me frozen in space. Then I will stitch them together with some AI techniques and camera animation to create the illusion of time freezing while the camera moves around me. First step, I needed some reference footage. Although Neo laying down with the bullets crossing above Above his head is one of the most popular shots in the film. We are going to recreate the shot with Trinity where she jumps in air, freezes, and the camera moves from one side to another. This is a little bit less complicated than the shot with Neo. I set up my camera on a tripod and recorded doing a couple of jumps. After a few takes, I had one that I thought is gonna work well, so I move on to the next step. Now comes the fun part, the splat scan. To sell the illusion that I'm floating in air, I stood on a box that I covered in green screen, so I could easily remove it later. Then my girlfriend circled around myself with the camera capturing every angle for the 3D reconstruction. If you move during the scan, your body will slide and it will be very confusing result, so I tried to stay frozen as as much as possible. Once I have myself captured, I did another scan of the environment, this time without the box, so later I could replace the floor underneath my legs. At this point, I had my live footage of me jumping, my frozen Gaussian splat with me in the air, and a clean background, so all these are the three ingredients so far that we need. Inside Premiere Pro, I did what I usually do, color grade everything. In this way, the footage and the splat already look like they are from the same environment. Next, I exported the color graded video and imported in Postrad for training. This gave me a 3D splat of myself in air, pretty solid result. After this was completed, I removed carefully the box underneath my legs and replaced with the clean plate the one we took earlier and now it looks like I'm floating in the air. I also split the splat in two, the character and the environment. This makes life much easier when you try to animate or compositing. With all the elements ready, it was time to actually build the bullet time effect in After Effects. First thing, I imported the footage and split in two parts, before the jump and after the jump. I created a solid and applied the Gaussian splat effect and added the 3D camera to mimic my real camera settings. Started orbiting around the Gaussian splat, try to match the perspective in 3D with the footage recorded from my own camera. On the left image we have the last frame and on the right we have the one position of Gaussian and splatting. If you put them in a sequence one next to each other, we can see that it's not far off. Just a bit of distortion that I forgot to remove. With some AI magic, we're gonna connect the two footage and we are going to have a smooth transition. And now we have to connect two shots, the one from the camera jumping into Gaussian splatting and from the Gaussian splatting back to the original camera. I try to do it in two methods. First, I use Comfy UI with 1.2.2 to recreate this transition, but it didn't really work great. Lots of distortion and the model didn't make it a perfect transition. Also, I tried with Kling AI. It took me a few tries to get the perfect prompt, but when I did, it was a great result. This is the final prompt I use for the two examples from the starting and from landing. The hard part is obviously faces. AI loves to melt faces when blending frames, so I had to patch my face back frame by frame to keep the transition smooth. If you made it so far, thank you for watching. I really want to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and you are the only one who can help me.
please consider subscribe and now back to the video. Now that we have the, all the pieces connected, it's time to create the bullet time effect. I created a null object, link it to the camera and animate a 360 orbit around the splat. This instantly gave me the classic camera rotation while the time is frozen. The end of the animation is returning to the tripod position and now we are going to have a full 360 rotation of myself. That's pretty cool. This is actually the bullet time effect made it with Gauss and splatting. So I really want to push this effect a little bit further. What I did, I scanned different locations and made me look like I was traveling from one location to another. The transitions are very simple, it's just the scale animation that's happening and introducing in each scene. In some parts I used the spot color to create cool effects, like for example here, I wanted the colors to start from me and then explode into a new location. The debris are made with a duplicate splat that I reduced the scale to minimum and had no color. In this way we see these black debris flying around. Of course, all these keys are synchronized with the music and everything here is not random. In the end, this is the effect I made and I'm quite happy how it turned. At this point, I was quite happy with the bullet time effect created. It's not as good as the Matrix, but obviously it does a great job. If you had to redo it again, I would undistort my lens to avoid weird wrapping when blending footages together. And for the second effect that I created, I would spend more time color grading each splat location to make them look identical. Still, for zero dollars experiment with some splat and some AI, the result is very impressive. If you made it so far, thank you so much for watching. I'm on a mission to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and you are the only one who can help me. In return, I'm gonna try to do more AI and visual effects techniques to educate and do great content on this YouTube channel. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.